invite to the stage the person who calls himself a, the cosmic janitor. And he's actually the box of this space here, it's made of place that you're sitting in. And the person who has been working around the clock to make this possible. Please welcome Marcus Snorkler. Thank you. I believe it's Miguel that would be working around the clock. So, so it's, a, it's a pleasure to. Anyway, it's a real pleasure to have you all here. Welcome. And indeed, I'm the prospect janitor. And um, just a few words about Idea Square. So, this is the innovation space, absurd, where we connect our sites with society. And what Mark just shared with you is a great example of that. What we usually have here, and it's sort of you guys here today at Warrow as Wednesday, we have students, we have master level students, also PhD students, but mainly master level students uh, from uh, many countries, over 10 countries all around the world, including places like Australia. And they come here from different disciplines, mainly uh, engineering, uh, product design, and business management. And we give them sustainable development roles with any challenges. And then we try to link it using design thinking back to the knowledge technology that we have here at CERN or elsewhere. So that is, in a nutshell, what we mainly do here. But we also do hackathons or events like this. And uh, the idea always in Idea Square is that we want people obviously to share ideas. And this is the place uh, where you can ask uh, all those questions that you never did to ask. We uh, are not fussy. Um, so far, I've not heard anybody uh, asking why the hell would you have a red double deck on the bus since, uh, since I didn't hear that, I will tell you. But uh, see, uh, I would like, now I'd like a little bit to move on, just a couple of technicalities. Uh, somebody actually nicely wrote the Wi-Fi password for you. How many connected to Network 1? Just so I guess this is the overview. And how many connected to 2? Okay. So try to... Um, Divide this because we had some group about your size and they complained, they all rushed to number one and then they said, mm -hmm. So I do advise you to make sure that you kind of even the, the load, but it seems that it's statistically working okay. But in case it gets slow, I suggest you change. But if you all change at the same time, it will be better. <laughs> so uh, some serendipity and uh, stochastic, uh, I think, is in place. All right. Um, next, let me see what's it. Oh, yeah. If there's a fire, this uh, place explodes, just run faster than me. I'm going to be running that way, okay, uh, to the glow, which is a wood building that burns also. Uh, but anyway, if you kind of just, uh, the one who has better sneakers than I do, uh, will be there first. So that's basically all I wanted to say. It's a real pleasure. Uh, Tuli, uh, I hope Tuli will say something at some point. Tuli is from our side, uh, among other, there are people from Idea Square, we have 20 people here. But here today, I can see Odai, he's, he's there, he's responsible for our hackathons. Uh, we have uh, Yuri, we call her the Russians, uh, her cosmonaut, but uh, she is not actually a cosmonaut. But uh, she's, she's actually a professor of arts and design in, in, uh, in Tokyo. And uh, she's very timid. You can be a little bit closer, you don't have to be defining the way there. And she's actually with her students uh, in helping us to redesign the base uh, to. Uh, to, uh, to bring in a little bit of a uh, concept of a uh, Japanese garden that Tuli is also involved in. So you might want to talk to her as well. All right, then of course my boss, who everybody has a boss, it's, uh, it's Claudia. She's a composite czar or czarin, uh, so that uh, she's here keeping an eye on me that I don't say anything to see me. Oops. Uh, anything else I forgot? Uh, yeah, one other thing. So I, I, I'm waving this catch box. This has been designed by students of the same network that, that we are in. And this is a microphone, so you speak here. So since the pop-pop acoustics is so terrible, uh, when you speak up, please use this. Uh, and what is nice about this is that if you as a speaker uh, don't like somebody, uh, you love everybody, you can really throw it very fast as an indication that, you know, would you not? Uh, but my friend Frank, he's there looking at me and he desperately wants to say something. So we do a little test. Frank, here's, here's for you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> It does work, right? Of course. So you see, uh, somebody did that. No, no, so show it to, to somebody else. But anyway, the point is here that simply that uh, this is how it works, and don't, don't feel uh, shy to use it. And um, yeah. No, I'm not shy. You are not shy. Excellent. So please use that, and you know, it's uh, some people can read it like in school, but it's, uh, it's designed by students, so 
is very robust.